In the wake of the proposal, does Hope make Paris eat her words in bold and the beautiful? Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Hope Logan received another proposal from Bold and the Beautiful as Paris Buckingham was out and about courting her eventual husband, who just so happened to be making the proposal. B&B hinted that these moments on the CBS soap opera would collide. Will Paris then learn of the proposal? If so, will Hope use it to make fun of her opponent? Even if Thomas acknowledges that this proposition was phony, Hope may be able to get her adversary to retract her statements. On top of everything else, as the next week progresses, it appears that an odd turn is in the works. Paris Buckingham defines her territory in bold and the beautiful. When Paris Buckingham, Diamond White, shoved warnings down Hope Logan's Annika Knoll neck last week, she did it with such confidence. Then Matthew Atkinson's character Thomas Forrester shows up and makes another proposal to Hope. Hope might use this latest ruse to bring out to Paris that he asked, but she declined even though it was fabricated as a fairly harsh lesson for the Logan daughter. Last week, Bold and the Beautiful revealed hints that this might go in a couple different directions. Hope Logan and Thomas Forrester don't appear to get engaged, despite this third spontaneous proposal. However, Thomas made a proposal this time, anticipating that Hope would reject it. He thus baited her, it serves as proof to support his argument because she rejected the third plan. He's moving on because she refuses to marry him. In this manner, he may move forward with the wedding preparations and perhaps put an end to his former partner's continued meddling with his quick marriage to Paris. B and B spoilers. Will Hope Logan stop responding to the proposal? This idea was not overheard by Paris Buckingham. However, her opponent will probably let her know about it. Last week, Bold and the Beautiful staged it, with the soon-to-be bride heading out of the pool area to locate Thomas. Fans therefore believed she may storm in. Rather, she probably finds out about this after the fact. But Hope Logan now has the ideal chance to confront Paris Buckingham about Thomas's affection for her. Nevertheless, a plot twist could turn this woman's course, and she might wind as a rejected bride. Paris will most likely accuse Hope of being the reason Thomas asked for his ex-wife's hand in marriage as soon as she learned of it. She's already told her to give up on Thomas. However, Hope might support her argument with this bold and the beautiful proposition. The forester son, in her opinion, is not ready for marriage, and that he still has feelings for her. Thus, Thomas Forrester was only interested in Paris Buckingham because she was so confident in herself. What would Thomas have done if she had accepted, even though he claimed the proposal was phony? Spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful Supporters of Bold and the Beautiful claim Paris Buckingham comes across as incredibly eager to wed Thomas. She probably understands that marrying him is the only surefire method to keep him near the Logan daughter. Therefore, whether or not this proposal is real, she will probably start to worry about Thomas once she finds out. After that, though, B and B spoilers imply that she reverses course. Paris might fabricate the situation involving the phony proposal out of desperation. She might turn Thomas into a victim. He was forced to use this ruse on her, designating Hope as bold and the beautiful seductress for the following week. Furthermore, she probably has someone to support her in this. However, Hope Logan found this proposal to be sufficient to set her out on a quest to call off their wedding. She probably begins by telling the Logans and Foresters about Thomas' latest proposal. Thomas' sister will probably prove to be an ally for Paris Buckingham. It appears that she will receive assistance with her attempt to place the blame on Hope Logan starting next week. Hope was also cautioned by Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messinswood, to avoid her brother. She was worried that she would attempt to kidnap her sibling. So on Bold and the Beautiful the next week, 
Paris and Steffi might team together to accuse the Logan daughter of attempting to entice Thomas back into her life. In any case, Hope Logan probably keeps up her efforts to prevent Paris Buckingham from walking down the aisle on CBS. The Forrester mansion was buzzing with excitement and anticipation as the family gathered for a celebratory dinner. The elegant dining room was adorned with fresh flowers, and the air was filled with the mouth-watering aroma of a gourmet feast. Hope Logan, radiant in a sleek evening gown, couldn't shake the feeling that something Thomas momentous Forrester was about impeccably to happen. dressed in a tailored suit, stood up and tapped his glass, silencing the room. His gaze was fixed on Hope, a mix of determination and affection in his eyes. He cleared his throat and began to speak. Everyone, I have something important to say, Thomas announced, his voice steady. Hope, you've been my muse, my inspiration, and my partner in so many ways. I can't imagine my life without you. Will you marry me? A collective gasp echoed through the room as Thomas dropped to one knee, presenting a stunning diamond ring. Hope's eyes widened in surprise, her heart pounding. She glanced around the room, meeting the expectant gazes of her family and friends. Paris Buckingham, who had been watching the scene unfold with a mix of curiosity and skepticism, couldn't help but let out a disbelieving chuckle. Seriously? You're proposing to her now? Hope's eyes snapped to Paris, anger flashing in her gaze. What's that supposed to mean, Paris? Paris shrugged, her expression unapologetic. Just seems a bit sudden, don't you think? Thomas's jaw tightened, but he kept his focus on Hope. Hope, please, will you be my wife? Hope took a deep breath, her emotions swirling. She loved Thomas, but Paris's words had struck a nerve. She needed time to think, to process everything. Thomas, can we talk about this later, in private? Thomas nodded, standing up and slipping the ring back into his pocket. The tension in the room was palpable as the guests returned to their conversations, casting curious glances at Hope and Thomas. Later that evening, Hope found herself alone in the garden, the cool night air providing a welcome respite from the heated emotions inside. She heard footsteps approaching and turned to see Paris walking towards her. Hope, can we talk? Paris asked, her tone more conciliatory. Hope crossed her arms, her expression guarded. What do you want, Paris? Paris sighed, running a hand through her hair. I'm sorry if I upset you earlier. I just, I don't trust Thomas. I don't think he's right for you. Hope's eyes narrowed. And why do you think that? Thomas has changed. He's been nothing but supportive and loving. Paris shook her head. I know he seems that way, but people don't change overnight. He has a history, Hope. I just don't want to see you get hurt. Hope felt a surge of anger. You don't know him like I do, Paris. You have no right to judge our relationship. Paris held up her hands in a placating gesture. I'm not judging, I'm just concerned. You're my friend, and I care about you. Hope took a step closer, her voice low and fierce. If you really cared about me, you would support my choices. Thomas and I are building something real, and I won't let anyone, not even you, tear that down. Paris looked taken aback, but she nodded slowly. Okay, Hope, I understand. Just promise me you'll be careful. Hope's expression softened slightly. I will, but you need to trust me, Paris. I know what I'm doing. The following days were a whirlwind of emotions and uncertainty for Hope. She couldn't shake the doubts that Paris had planted in her mind, but she also couldn't ignore the love she felt for Thomas. Determined to clear her head, she threw herself into her work at Forrester Creations, immersing herself in the creative process. Thomas, sensing her need for space, gave her the time she needed while continuing to show his unwavering support. He brought her lunch, offered to help with her projects, and did everything he could to prove his commitment. One afternoon, as Hope was sketching designs in her office, Thomas knocked on the door. Can we talk? Hope looked up, her expression softening. Of course, Thomas. Come in. Thomas took a seat across from her, his eyes earnest. I know you've been having doubts and I understand why, but I want you to know that I'm here for you, no matter what, 
I love you, Hope, and I'm willing to wait for as long as it takes. Hope felt a lump in her throat. Thank you, Thomas. That means a lot to me. I just, I need to sort through my feelings. Thomas nodded, reaching across the table to take her hand. I get it, and I'll be right here, waiting. Take all the time you need. As they sat together, a sense of peace settled over Hope. She knew that whatever happened, they would face it together. Meanwhile, Paris was struggling with her own feelings. She had never meant to hurt Hope, but she couldn't shake the nagging doubt about Thomas. She decided to take a step back and focus on her own life, giving Hope the space she needed. One evening, Paris found herself at Il Giardino, the trendy restaurant where she often went to clear her head. She was sipping on a glass of wine when Zendi Forrester, her boyfriend and a talented designer at Forrester Creations, joined her. Hey, you look deep in thought, Zendi said, taking a seat next to her. Paris smiled faintly, just thinking about everything that's been going on.